Hey Cake Chumps and welcome back to another video. Last week I was invited to visit the UK headquarters of one of the UK's most iconic manufacturers in the fields of baking, cake decorating and sugar craft. If you're anything like me, you're bound to have tons of this company's products in your cake decorating arsenal, probably even more than you realise. In fact, as I was preparing to shoot this video, I did a bit of a mental stock take and I realised that this organisation is responsible for everything from my cake tins, my cake release spray, my palette knives, my edge scrapers, my turntables, some of my favourite cake decorating tools. To be honest, I could go on and on and on. They've already cropped up in my favourite cake decorating products of 2019 video, which I will link up there, so you know that I'm already a fan. Have you figured it out yet? Although saying that, the, uh, the title might already have given it away. Yep, we're talking about PME. Let's get to the video. If you've been in the world of cake decorating for a long time, and I mean a long time, then you might already know some of the backstory of PME. But I've realised that in spite of owning a huge amount of their products and being a massive fan, I really don't. Luckily, when I arrived at PME HQ last week, Pat and Kieran from the marketing team were only too happy to fill in some of the facts and information that I didn't know. I, I may even have made notes. Yes, I'm a geek and proud of it. I did, however, later realise that pretty much all of it is on the PME website, so I'm, I'm just gonna... Yeah. So established in 1956, which now means that PME is in its seventh decade, PME actually stands for Precision Machining Engineers and was originally responsible for producing items for industry, such as things for the army, for the um, automobile industry, even for planes. But it wasn't until the UK Catering Corps, part of the military, asked them to produce a tool for them that they first ventured into catering. It was actually their straight edge metal ruler, which is still available to this day. It would have been a really fantastic touch for this video if I had one, but it's possibly one of the few things I don't already own. So reading from the organisation's website, it says that they quickly identified a gap in the cake decoration market for high quality, well engineered and originally crafted cake decoration products. And it quickly set about establishing itself as a pioneer in the sector, producing a range of both original and innovative lines that both trade and end users instinctively and lovingly associate with PME. Seamless icing tubes, modelling tools, the iconic tilting turntable, plunger cutters and crimpers. And they haven't stopped there. Kieran and Pat actually told me about the background to some of their most iconic tools, including the stitching tool, which I love using on my models and my sculpted cakes. Now this originally came to be after they found out that somebody was using a proper metal sewing tool to create that sort of effect on their models. So they developed their food safe version which can, remains in their toolkit to this day. Other tools were adapted from those used in woodwork, all sorts really, there's, there's a background to everything. And it was for innovation that PME was very much originally known. Of course, for a while there, they kind of stopped putting out new products and they explained that that was because of the whole, the copying that goes on in the cake industry, which I know is a bit of a hot topic at the moment. So many of PME's tools and products have been replicated or recreated by other companies and brands over the years and it, it almost made them lose heart a little bit and stop innovating, but luckily, they kind of had a bit of a, a rethink over the last few years and they've decided that no, this is what we do best, this is what we are known for and this is what we're going to do more of. And this saw them releasing around 200 products in 2019 alone, which means that they now have almost two and a half thousand products in total in their line, which is crazy. Speaking of new products, you might notice that I have a, a selection of 2019's new releases uh, sat behind me right now, but we'll get to those in a minute. While I was there, I did get to take a bit of a tour of their headquarters, but I'm afraid I didn't get much footage of that, mainly because I got to see a lot of very, very highly secretive 
releases that will be coming up in the next few months. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to talk about many of them just yet, but rest assured you will be the first to know when I am. I did manage to get some footage of their enormous warehouse though, and when I say enormous, I don't feel like this footage does it justice. It is insanely huge. And the most incredible part, but this is only one of their four manufacturing and distribution centers around the world. They also have headquarters in the United States, Hong Kong and South Africa. I honestly can't put into words how exciting it was to be surrounded by so many cake decorating products. It was almost overwhelming actually. But I did love in particular spotting their new machine that allows them to turn recycled cardboard into this kind of mesh style packaging. I took a picture of it, I was that impressed, I'll put it up. And um, sustainability is actually something that they are working really hard on at PME at the moment. So hopefully you should start to notice that their traditional blister plastic packaging is gradually going to be replaced by new kind of paper and metal, like cable tie type things. So do keep an eye out for those. While I was there, I was also quite excited to discover that their headquarters includes a whole showroom featuring all of their nearly two and a half thousand products. It's like the most incredible cake decorating supply shop except everything is made by PME. Seeing it kind of all there in one place really did like bring home to me just how many of the tools that we use every single day in our creating came from PME. And even more excitingly, the showroom is actually open to the public. So if you fancy um, heading down to their headquarters in Enfield, um, I'll put the details down in the description box below. You can go and have a, a mosey around yourself and perhaps pick up some of their latest innovations. And while we're on the subject of that, if you would be interested in me going back up there to shoot a kind of a walkthrough of their showroom and kind of highlight to you just some of the products that perhaps you didn't even realise were manufactured by PME, then do let me know down in the comments. It wouldn't take a lot of convincing to get me to go back up there again. But anyway, as I alluded to earlier on in the video, one can't visit the headquarters of one of our favourite cake tool manufacturers without picking up a couple of essentials to come out of the PME test kitchen. And I thought you guys might like to see what I brought home with me. Be sure to stay tuned until the end because the last one is a complete and utter game changer. I'm not even kidding. But. First up is one that you might have seen in last week's issue of Something Sweet magazine. Have I mentioned here before that I publish a weekly cake decorating magazine? I do, and I'll put the link to it down in the description box. Something Sweet magazine is basically a weekly roundup of all the latest news from the world of cake decorating and sugar craft. It comes out every Sunday at around about 8.30, so that you can read it in bed with a cup of tea if that's your jam. But anyway, in last week's community news section, I featured this product that I actually used to transport my own birthday cake to my birthday party last weekend. The Crystal Candy Cake Box is a brand new product from PME that came out, gosh, couple of months ago at most and it's basically a very durable reusable plastic cake box that allows your cake to be safely sealed away but still on display. Now it says on the box if it's made with love why not present it with love and that's very much what I felt like when I walked into my birthday party. You know normally we arrive at these events people are really excited to see the cake and then we're there holding some kind of Either a plain white cardboard box that you can't see into, and let's be honest, they're usually too short for kind of modern deep cakes anyway, or some kind of ratty repurposed cardboard box from something else. Walking into my birthday party with a cake already on display in this amazing box meant that everyone was kind of able to react to it, I guess, straight away. And I know that if I was somebody who did make cakes to order and was delivering them, I think I'd feel much more proud walking into, why am I still holding this? Much more proud walking into the event or the celebration space with the cake on display. I think it, I don't know why nobody's ever thought of doing something like this before. Loving this and definitely gonna be using these for cakes that I make in the future. 
Something else that got me quite excited is actually a product that I've already seen in the shops and that is the new PME cup kits. So they look like this and inside the box they come with, bear with, inside they come with some little decorated cupcake cases with normal ones inside as well, so normal paper ones which means that your cardboard cases won't get kind of discoloured or damaged in the oven. And then inside each pack is everything you need to decorate your cupcake. Bake it using your normal recipe, do your buttercream using your normal recipe, and then for example in this unicorn kit, which I've just trashed opening it, you get your golden unicorn horns and your little unicorn ears. Couple that with the cases, and you'll basically be able to create the perfect unicorn cupcake. Now, the, the reason these jumped out at me is I could immediately see how fun they would be to decorate with children. I love baking and cake decorating with the kids at school and with my godchildren as well. And one thing that I do notice is that sometimes children can be quite disappointed with the, the decorating that they can do. So this kind of takes away that element of it and actually just allows them to have a lot of fun creating stunning, beautiful cakes. And I'm definitely gonna be using these to bake with my godchildren. In fact, we have a dinosaur set for Ezra, an alien set for Jacob, and then the cute unicorn set for Darcy, which I'm going to need to try and make look nice and pretty again before she sees it, otherwise she's going to be very cross and disappointed. Now when I saw this next product on the shelves, I'm going to be honest, I was really quite excited because I've seen lots of people asking for advice how to create this effect on their cakes. I think it's been popularised by shows like the Great British Bake Off, The Professionals or Creme de la Creme or whatever it is called at the moment. Um, and that is to create the effect of a cocoa butter spray. Now, if I'm honest, I haven't had a go at creating one of these sorts of desserts before, so I unfortunately can't put up a picture of one of my own. But what I will do is insert a picture from the internet of the sort of thing I'm talking about. But basically, it allows you to create that kind of lovely velvety effect on your cakes, desserts and pastries. PME have got two varieties at the moment. There's white and then there's brown. But I think don't hold me to this. I think you can airbrush over this as well. You'd obviously need to use an airbrush colour that is um, alcohol based rather than water based, I think, because otherwise it would bead over cocoa butter. But anyway, absolutely fantastic product identifying a gap in the market because we don't all want to go out and buy cocoa butter airbrush gun things. Um, and I'm really looking forward to having a go with these myself. If you have already used them, do let me know down in the comments below because I would love to hear what you thought of them. But yeah, these are the new PME Cocoa Velvet Butter Sprays. And they look like this. Not everything I picked up was hugely innovative in the same way as things like the Cocoa Butter Sprays and the Crystal Cake Boxes. There were some that were purely just because I really liked the look of them. Like the new soft touch handle edge scrapers or side scrapers um, and dough cutters which look like this. So I've got the serrated one and I've got the straight edge one and these will be perfect for scraping down the size of your cakes which you'll see demonstrated in both my how to talk fill and crumb coat your cakes video and also in my how to cover a cake in sugar paste video. However, I do also do a lot of other baking too, like making bread and these are fantastic for working your dough on the worktop too. So really looking forward to adding both of these to my kind of everyday caking and baking kit. Does that make sense? Also really looking forward to see the effect that the serrated scraper can create on the side of a cake as well. I think that could look really cool. Up next we have a product that isn't really an innovation in terms of it's something we haven't seen before because in actual fact products like this have existed for, gosh it must be almost 15 years now. In fact PME have been making their version under their kind of their gem brand for 
a long time. But what they've done for the new fun font impression kit is updated it to, to become more current in line with these impression tools that we have seen a lot of recently. What I like about this one is that each individual letter has a little handle on the back so that regardless of whether you are impressing onto a cake board or onto the side of your cake, you have that control of being able to place it really, really carefully. They're also translucent, meaning that you can see through them slightly to check your placement. And they have on them, which you probably can't see very well, a line to show where kind of you need to be lining up all of the letters together, as well as a little arrow pointing upwards to make sure you point it in the right direction, I guess. Again, there are lots of products like this around and on the market now, but if you're struggling to get your head around using some of these ones that have um, like pads for applying them to your cakes or other kind of application methods, you might find that this one is more convenient for you to use. Again, PME have been trying to innovate to plug gaps in the market, so if you're finding that what's already out there isn't working for you, you might find that these ones do. And I'm assured that the number set will be out very soon. Now something else I'm quite excited about using myself because I quite often like to include shaved chocolate on top of desserts and even on my cupcakes as you'll see on my lime and dark chocolate cupcakes that I'll pop a picture of up somewhere on the screen is the new PME Choco Flaker Maker. Try saying that three times quickly. This actually allows you to mold a solid block of chocolate, and I'll put like PME's own little video in to show you this in action. Um, and then it's almost like a pepper mill in that it allows you to shave your chocolate. In fact, let's get it out and have a look. First of all, it comes with the molds that you will have seen in the PME clip just now. And so you melt your chocolate, and I'm assured you don't need to do anything scary like temper it or anything, you just melt whichever chocolate it is you want to use into the mould, allow it to set up, and then they fit into this part here on either side, and then you screw this bit down to hold it in nice and snug. And then this goes back on top like this. And then you basically can just, and it even tells you which way to go, you can basically just turn it around and it will create fine, tiny little shavings of chocolate to go onto your cakes and desserts. It's almost like one of those products that you didn't realise you needed until you knew that it existed. Definitely looking forward to having a go with this and uh, if I shoot a video of making my chocolate lime cupcakes, which I really should do, I should definitely... T if you'd like to see me make some videos of making my own recipes, then let me know down in the comments below. But We'll definitely give this a while so we can see it in action. Now there's a bit of an embarrassing story that goes with our, our next new product because the guys at PME asked if I'd seen them demonstrating this at Cake International and I hadn't actually spotted they were at Cake International. They then pointed out to me that in the background of my profile picture on social media you can actually see their stand behind me. So this picture that I have used here on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, has their stand pretty much behind me in the background with the logo and everything and, and I hadn't noticed so that was a little bit embarrassing but never mind. If you were at Cake International um, in November at Birmingham, at Birmingham? In Birmingham at the NEC then you probably would have seen PME demonstrating their new Luster Snow product, which looks like this. There's a pink, a blue, a silver, a red, and a gold. And these are basically shiny metallic edible powder colours for sprinkling on top of your your cakes, your desserts, your pastries, and in fact in the official PME video they even sprinkle them on canapes, on, um, on coffee, so really really fun. And again if I open one up so you can have a look, they look like this. And inside there's this super fine mesh lid 
So you give it a shake and then you just tap some out very gently onto your cupcake, your cake, your whatever it is you decide you want to decorate. Now, this will probably be one of the first things that I have a play with on my bake. So do look out for a video with these in action very soon because I can see these having lots and lots of applications. Not to mention how useful will these containers be for um, like icing sugar and uh, cornstarch and things like that when they're empty. Although we might have to wait a while for that because you get an awful lot in there for your money. Again, these were available to buy at Cake International in November. So if you've had a go with these, I would love to see what you created with them. So again, do let me know down in the comments or of course you can share your cake and dessert images with me over on social media. All the links are down in the description box below. Let's be cake chums. Now last up is a product that got me so excited when I saw it. I don't think I've ever really done any of it on my YouTube channel yet, but I use airbrushing on my cakes a lot. Um, I would very much consider myself uh, an airbrush artist rather than somebody who uses powder colours and things like that. I have quite the selection of airbrushes, including the Chlorella Cakes airbrush kit for um, people who are looking for a really nice, easy to use entry level model. I also have some slightly more kind of advanced elite airbrushes for when I'm doing um, some more complex things, um, larger than life pieces like my life size Father Christmas cake. Again, I'll put a, a link to my video about that up there if you haven't seen it. One thing that all of my current airbrushes have in common is that they have a compressor that has to be plugged into the mains and then of course you have your, your airbrush pen. And that does mean that you're reliant on having a plug socket and you have your wire and you have your tubing from the compressor to the airbrush kind of around. Not the end of the world, I tend to just wrap my tube around my arm to keep it out of the way and not dangling on my cake. But it can be a problem if you're demonstrating at a cake show and if you're someone who perhaps has made a, a tiered airbrushed cake that you're setting up at a venue or a location and, and you want to just do some finishing touches, you're then of course relying on finding a plug socket, possibly an extension lead. It can be a bit of a pain, which is where this next product comes in. And that is the PME Portable Airbrush Kit. These have just been released by PME, but exclusively at Lakeland. So if you want to get your hands on one, you need to head to Lakeland. And inside, you get a manual. You get your airbrush pen, which is a fairly kind of standard single action airbrush pen. Single action basically means that if you pull this back, it will spray out colour. If you let go, it will stop. As opposed to a dual action pen, which means if you push down, it starts spraying air. And then when you pull it back, it starts to release colour. So you get a little bit more control over the amount of air that's being used and the amount of colour that's coming through. Most people find that single action is fine for them at least when they're getting started. So um, yeah. Also in here is a USB charger cable, your mini pipette and spanner for adjusting your airbrush as you find in most kits. And then the most exciting part and this is the portable compressor. First of all, gorgeous gold colour and it's got some weight to it as well, so you're not going to be flinging this off anywhere. But basically, you take your portable compressor, you screw your airbrush on the top, and then it has a button on the side here. And there is your airbrush on the go. Now, the reason why I'm so excited about this is I can see a gazillion ways that this is going to help me in my cake decorating. Again, if I'm demonstrating at a show like Cake International or I'm doing a workshop or a demonstration to an organisation like uh, the British Sugar Craft Guild, it's, it's something that I can use and I can have with me on the go. If I have any sort of problems or disasters, like for example, my Father Christmas cake that I mentioned earlier, it sustained some damage um, while I was transporting it up to Birmingham, which meant I had to do some repairs kind of at the show. Now, luckily I was able to borrow an airbrush from someone and get an extension lead to run a power supply to where my Father Christmas was. 
but just having this in my kind of my repair kit which I tend to take with me whenever I'm taking a cake somewhere I could just pull it out and straight away there and then do my kind of my blending my my finishing touches and so on. Similarly, if you're you're working on a cake and you just want to do a tiny little bit of airbrushing on it, you don't have to go through the hassle of getting everything out, setting it up, plugging it in. You can literally just pull this out, screw it on, go, take it off, wash it, done. I don't want to bore you guys too much with the specs on this. They are all on the back of the box, but I can totally see this just being an absolute lifesaver particularly for me and for some of the artists I know who regularly use airbrushes on the go. So, if you want to get your hands on this, remember it is exclusively at Lakeland. Um, so, I will see if I can track down the link to where you can purchase it from the Lakeland website and put it in the description box because I can imagine that this is going to get a lot of people excited. So yeah, so those are just some of the new innovative, exciting products that have come out of the PME test kitchen over the last few months. And I don't know about you guys, but if this is a taster of things to come, I am super, super excited. As a huge fan of the brand who already owns so many of their products, not because I've actively sought them out, but just because the best tools for that particular use have been made by PME. I think it's really clear with, it, with this new kind of period of innovation and development at PME, they're really going back to their roots as precision machining engineers. You really feel like a lot of thought has gone into these products and I can honestly see myself using them as part of my everyday caking. It's not something that's like a novelty of yet that will be popular for a little while and then it will kind of fizzle out. These are things that you can use every single day to improve or develop your cake decorating. And if this is a taste of what's to come, I'm genuinely really, really excited. Now, much as I would love to have been able to film myself kind of testing out all of these products in this video, I think it would have ended up being about four hours long. So what I'm planning on doing is actually continuing to do my usual weekly videos and slotting these into my, my everyday caking so that you can see that I'm, I'm not joking, that they are things that I will actually be using. And then if you have any questions about any of them and how I find using them or all my thoughts, then do always head to the comments, let me know because I'd be happy to talk about all of them completely honestly, completely openly because ultimately I want to make sure you guys are having access to the best products. In the case of some of them, like the airbrush, I did get to have a play with it at PME and definitely really excited to, to get using it. Well worth a purchase and as I said I've already used the cake box as well and it was even strong enough that I could lift it up by the ribbon without worrying that the cake was gonna fall through. It's sturdily constructed, so as long as you're good at tying knots, no problems. But anyway, yes, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these. Are you excited about using any of them? Are you, have you used any of them? Are you going to be racing out to buy any of them? Let me know down in the comments below. Again, if you have already used some of them and you've got pictures of what you created, do tag me on social media so that I can share them with people as well. But there you go guys, that was my visit to PME HQ up in Enfield near London and just some of the exciting new products that I got to play with during my visit. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos of me kind of reviewing or sharing some of the kind of the latest tools and equipment to arrive on the market in the world of baking, cake decorating and sugar craft, then do be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to Mr. Baker's Cakes here on YouTube, you can do that by clicking the red button down below. If you have already subscribed, don't forget you can click the bell icon to turn on notifications, which will make sure you get a notification every time I upload a new video. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you next time. Take care.